Number four. Cleon Jones. Google him, kids. Part of the Miracle Mets. Wow. Mets Hall of Fame. Look now, at you. I wanted to go more recent with Delgado, but I thought, you know what? I think Cleon, most Mets fans that are older would say Cleon Jones over Carlos That is Delgado. one big difference we've already seen from Sean. When he does the Cinco list and includes history, he will only start it in right. like 1995. So the fact that you went all the way back to the 60s and made the Miracle Met reference, it's a good job out of you. I don't think well, Sean's that, ever coming back. That means he couldn't find many more 21s after that. Oh, more, <laughs> on, that, more on that later. <laughs> Number three. It's Paul O'Neill, the warrior. We had him on a few days Paul ago. O'Neal. How is he not number four? How is he? He won three championships. I believe it might have been four. Four five, championships. Five total, four with the yeah, Yankees. Yeah, got one with the Reds and oh, the four with right. the Yankees. Yes. Yeah. Of course, the Roberto Kelly trade, batting champ, number retired at Monument Park. And the great thing about Paul O'Neill, he was fun to watch even when he wasn't uh, taking a batch. You know, he's still going off to the water cooler. So Paul <laughs> O'Neill, number three on this list. Wow. Number two. Number three. Prime time Dion oh, stop. Sanders. That's Hold embarrassing. On. No, it's not embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Dion Sanders. Deion Sanders played for the Yankees. Yes. That's why he included Number 21 on the Yankees. 1990, he was number 21. Deion, the greatest corner that ever lived. (laughs) Top five athlete of all time. No one's going to dispute that. How could Deion Sanders, who was a Yankee, wore number 21, not be number two on this list? Because he wasn't good at baseball. So what? And And when he was a Yankee, he was a trophy. He's Deion Sanders. So you're doing career, people who wore wore 21. I'm just giving you the top five New York athletes He's not only doing career, he's doing a different sport because <laughs> Deion Sanders was not a good baseball player. I'll never forget oh, as a take kid. take that back. He was a good baseball player, no, not a great. No, he wasn't. He I'll, was never, I'll never forget. Uh-huh. I was sitting there at Chase Stadium as an 11-year-old. I had my dad and these two guys who used to buy tickets all the time oh, from us. How old Pete, was he? Pete and Jimmy were the, were the names. There were two different people, right. Pete and Jimmy. And when Deion was playing left field for the Braves, or it may have been the Reds in 95, every time there was a fly ball to the outfield, Pete would scream, oh, yeah, Dion ain't catching it. And it was comically true because Dion could not catch a fly ball. He'd run <laughs> over because he was fast as hell, and he wouldn't be able to make a play. He was a bad baseball player, and he wasn't any good for the Yankees. Dion being on this list is embarrassing. Uh, okay, Lucas again. Duda should be on this list ahead of Dion Sanders. Duda. Again, just a reminder, this is the top five New York athletes to wear number 21. Dion played with the Yankees. Top five athlete, in my opinion, of all time. But he's not number one on this list. Number one. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. The greatest New York athlete to wear number 21. The greatest running back in the history of New York sports, the running back for the New York Jets, LT, <laughs> LaDainian Tomlinson. What? Uh, I mean, he's not uh, entirely incorrect because if we're I just, you. if we're looking at careers, I, you, I mean, LaDainian's, you know, first foul. Uh, he's right. in the Hall of Fame. I hate you, Lugie. Uh, but I'm all, I'm, I had a feeling he was doing that. Yes, yeah, so. Damage. Get out of here. <laughs> of course, that you is. Call yourself a giant fan, leave. Uh, now. Take go to five. <laughs> 